Hello, yarn friends. How is everybody doing? It's Valerie from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. I've been missing for a while, haven't I? Yeah, I know. Oh boy, the beginning of the school year. Let me just say, if you know a teacher, um, you know, buy them flowers, give them a box of chocolate, give them, you know, a, a gift certificate to, or gift card to Starbucks or, <laughs> or <laughs> Molly, or something because teachers are stressed right now. Teachers are really, really stressed, whether you're distance learning or whether you're in the classroom with the kids, it it's crazy to try and teach in the middle of a pandemic. Yeah. Um, I think I've told you my district is, um, we're starting out with online education. They call it distance education. So um, I've been back a week and a half now, um, something like that. Molly, do not eat the yarn. Um, and I've had to learn so many different programs that I had no clue about before. I had a little bit of clue about Zoom, but it's different when you're actually hosting a meeting. So I've had to learn Zoom, Google Classroom, Parent Square, Screencastify, Flipgrid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh huh. It's been crazy. Um, all right, but anyway, um, I I got a box today. It is a um, a yarn haul from shopgoodwill.com, and I'm gonna put the video at the end of me talking. There's gonna be two videos after I'm done talking. There's gonna be a shopgoodwill.com yard yarn haul, and then a um, amber ooh ah crochet box plus some other ones yarn haul. So they're both pretty short, um, kind of, sort of, <laughs> but I just wanted to get on here. I keep saying, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to make a video, but then on the weekends, I'm just too tired. Um, but today I seem to have energy. So, um, I don't know why, because it's like a hundred and a hundred and hot. I don't know. 112, 11. I don't even know. We're having a heat wave in California, a heat wave and a pandemic. <laughs> All at once. Yeah, well. Um, I do want to tell you, I've got things to talk about, but I'll, I'll make a, a proper video this weekend, hopefully. I do want to tell you kind of what I'm doing with all the yarn scraps and things that you're going to be seeing. Like, why, why am I buying other people's yarn scraps? Let me tell you, it's my newest obsession. I feel like I'm rescuing yarn. <laughs> well... Um, I think I've talked about this before, the um, the Amaneko cats, and I'm going to talk about that in a future video. I'm going to do something with the, this whole thing. But for right now, I want to show you that I am making an Amaneko cat out of scraps. This is his little bottom, and this is his torso. Um, I've got... Oh, I don't know where they're at right now. I'm sorry. I really wasn't prepared to make this video today. I'll show you more that when I make the next video, but um, I am just, I am loving crocheting with my, my, my magic balls. And I'm going to talk more about that, like how I do that and stuff. But, um, so I'm like rescuing other people's little bits and pieces of yarn and, um, tying them together and I don't know what's going to happen if I'm going to make like a whole family of cats. I don't know, but then I might branch out and make other things too. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm going to pause because I really want to show you the, the cats. Pause. <laughs> All right. Whew. Hot, hot, hot. And my air conditioner just can't keep up on days like this because my house is old and the, the insulation is horrible. Yeah, it's like 80 something in here. So here's an here's one of the paws. <laughs> I just I love I love crocheting like this. Actually, this is a leg. A leg. Here's another leg. And then here, I think. Yeah. And these are the arms. 
And of course, here's the body. So it's going to be a wild and crazy cat. <laughs> so that kind of got me started on um, buying people's scraps. It's like I look on Etsy, I look on Mercari, I look on eBay, but I have to stop now. I've got enough coming. <laughs> I've got enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to put a picture of... While I'm thinking of it, I'm going to put a picture. The last thing on this video will be a picture of my cart. I went to Hobby Lobby on Saturday. And I, I must have hit it right at the perfect time because, yeah, they had a ton of stuff marked down. So I filled up a cart. I mean, it was so full I could barely walk and without the yarn falling over. <laughs> I know. I de-stashed this summer. I guess now I'm re-stashing. I don't know. <laughs> but how can you pass up yarn when it's like 74 cents a skein? Really? I can't. All right. So I'm going to put that at the end and you'll see. Um, but I, I just, yeah, it was tempting to go back and get another cart, but I didn't. So the cart that you see at the very end of this video, it cost me $148. So it would have been probably about I want to say 600 or more dollars worth of yarn. Yeah. Yeah, I got some good stuff. Um, but I'm not going to show you everything because it's it's the same stuff every other, you know, yarn tuber is showing. I mean, they discounted the same colors pretty much. All right. Um, so, yeah, I'm in the scrappy mode. <laughs> um, making scrap projects. My my scrap kitties. I'm going to call it my cat of many colors. A tribute to Dolly Parton and her coat of many colors. <laughs> All right, guys, I've missed talking to you. I'll do a proper video this weekend. I'll try to dress a little better. I'm sorry. It's a hundred and whatever here and it's just too hot. So stay tuned for the two videos and the photo. All right. So now I'm going to show you Whoops, you can't look at that yet. <laughs> I'm going to show you um, the box. Okay, let's see. This does not belong in there. Um, this is a box that I got from Amber at Ua Crochet. It's a pretty big box. Um, and there's already some stuff that I took out of it. And I... Um, what I'm doing, because this is older yarn, and I know she got it from, like, a, um, a van haul, and so, I mean, we don't really know who had it before, and it's older, and I just thought, well, um, it doesn't need to be washed, but I'm going to go ahead and wash it anyway, so I've got some in the washing machine. I've never washed yarn before, <laughs> but um, I'm giving it a try. I'm in this... Yarn rescue mode. Um, isn't that pretty? I have, I know it's like 80s. <laughs> it's the 1980s color, but I love it. Um, but pink and blue, 1980s. So, but I don't know if the yarn is that old, but anyway, I don't care. I love it all. Ooh, here's one I did not see. So I can tell it's older because of the labels, um, which I, I knew it would probably be older, and I'm fine with it. Um, but I'm planning on making magic balls with these. I mean, some of them are already balls, but so I'm rambling. What I'm going to do is, um, I have been taking the yarn and I, I read all about how to do this online. <laughs> I'm taking the yarn and I'm winding it into like loose hanks and then I'm tying the hanks like in four different places. And then I had a, um, a bunch, believe it or not, there was a bunch. I mean, this box was crammed full, $30, very good deal. <laughs> um, it was such a good deal that I bought another box from her. Yay, I'm so excited. I just bought it today, so it's not going to be here for a little while. But, um, yeah, I'm excited. So, um, I am... I am... Um, t I, I wound the yarn into hanks and I already said that part <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh, this distance education with TK is, is like driving my brain crazy and I haven't even started with kids yet <laughs> imagine that 
Um, so I, I took some and then I, I soaked it in OxyClean for like, I don't know, an hour or so. And now it's washing in the washing machine in laundry bags, like, like those mesh bags that you use. Um, yeah, so we'll see. I've never washed yarn before, but, uh, it, it was a little bit dirty because when I, when I was soaking it, the water was a little dirty, but that's okay. This is exactly what I was expecting to get, and I'm happy, and so yeah, I'm going to make magic balls out of these, which is like skein, or big balls with different colors all together, and yeah. Um, so that, I got that from Amber. I'm so excited. I got this little mini yarn haul from somebody on Etsy. So I'm going to shove that in here. Um, and then I got this. My idea when I bought this... This is like a quarter of it. I'm not going to unfold the whole thing because it's very hot here in California. Um, so my, my idea with this was to um, unravel it and use the yarn. But now I don't know if I'm going to do that because, um, I don't know, it feels weird to unravel somebody else's work. And it's really pretty. But... My purpose in buying it was to unravel it and then use the yarn in my magic balls. So, anyway, that's my um, half of my Amber Ooh Ah Crochet yarn haul. And then, oh, and this one I got from, I don't know, I've been shopping on Mercari and eBay, so I don't know exactly where I got this one from. Hi, everybody. Here is my yarn haul. I'm going to give you a, a, an overview of it, and then I'm going to kind of zoom in. This is my um, yarn haul from shopgoodwill.com. All of this was a total of $8. <laughs> okay, now that sounds really good, but let me just say that um, I love shopgoodwill.com, but you have to be careful and check the estimated shipping and I didn't I guess I didn't do that on this one I always check the estimated shipping but I must have I must have not done it on this one because I won the lot um, so I, I got the lot and it said okay and you owe like 40 something dollars and I'm like what yeah shipping was $34 <laughs> And then there was a handling fee, but that there's always a handling fee, it seems like. And I understand that. I get that. That's fine. But the shipping, I was I was so mad when I paid the $34 shipping because that uh, it made me mad. But I thought, you know what? It is what it is. It was my fault. I didn't check. But now that I, I got the box today and I started peeking inside and... Um, <laughs> laying everything out and I'm like you know what <laughs> it's still I think a good deal e you know even with the shipping and granted the box was very heavy and yeah so let me kind of zoom in and show you what I've got I'm gonna try to sit on the floor if I can let's see sorry about the wiggling um yeah all I knew is I was getting yarn and what's the, the the fun thing about shopgoodwill.com is that a lot of times they will they will um, throw in extra stuff or there's just stuff you don't see because they're like here's a box of yarn well yeah but underneath the yarn <laughs> there's all kinds of other things there is a loom knitting set which I did not know I was getting so there's that and it's um loops and threads so it's you know nice brand there is a it looks like a full skein of peaches and cream cotton um this is i think it's bernat um baby yarn it's the the textured yarn i don't use this or i haven't in the past um what i really love about all this is that there are no odors I'm really sensitive to like weird smells and stuff and this lot is fabulous it doesn't have any weird smells or anything and it and it everything looks like in really good shape um, this is 
a little bit of this. I don't know what I could do with that, but, um, and also the neat thing about this lot is that it obviously all came from one person or most of it did because there's like three of each or four of things and you know it's not just one skein um so here is some bernat pop in the colorway hot chocolate which sounds good ex even though it's you know 110 here today <laughs> i'm in california we're in the middle of a heat wave in the middle of a pandemic yeah um there's some black it feels like red heart super saver um, Karen Simply Soft. Uh, I'm not going to go through and say all the colors, but um, there somebody there's a project that somebody had started. Um, it's like a market bag. Oh, sorry, <laughs> they had started a market bag, and and so I have some um, the cotton. I'll probably I'll probably just frog that, and I don't know. Um, and the other good thing, <laughs> there's lots of good things about this yarn haul. The other good thing is that most of it is acrylic. Um, there's just a little bit of wool, which I do not use wool. Um, here's some homespun baby in, um, I can't read the colorway. This, oh, soft lime. This was a big surprise. I did not know I was getting any hooks. This was all um, rolled up. It's like a... a somebody crocheted a hook caddy I didn't know that was part of the deal so there are a bunch of hooks um, unfortunately they look I don't see any Susan Bates um, which I use Susan Bates but you know oh well there is something over there <laughs> some more obviously this person um, crocheted a lot for babies because I you know a lot of baby stuff so there's Four, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, that's plenty to make a, a blanket out of or something. Um, some green, some more Karen Simply Soft. I'm really intrigued by these. Now, I don't know anything about these, if they're special or not. They look special. Um, a lot of this stuff seems to have come from Ben Franklin Crafts. Uh, I don't, I think we used to have Ben Franklin I don't think we do anymore. I don't even know if, like, any place does. But anyway, those are beautiful. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think I did really good. Well, you know, considering that it was $8, but then, you know, plus all the other <laughs> fees. Um, there's a baby Afghan leisure arts pamphlet thing. And then a plus size sweaters to crochet leisure arts booklet. There is a ton of... Um, like the free patterns that you get from the stores, like tons and tons. And this is fun. I haven't gone through this yet, but this is um, somebody printed patterns off the internet. So there's all kinds of patterns and stuff in there that I can look through and see, you know, what I want to keep. So, yeah, I'm really pretty happy with my yarn haul. <laughs> I'm not going to keep it all. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to you know, maybe do a giveaway or something. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. All right. That's my shopgoodwill.com yarn haul.